Well, I'm delighted to uh, welcome Pete Waterfield to Sports Vibe TV. Uh, in just in case you don't know who Pete is, not to be confused with Pete Waterman from Stock Aiken and Wal Waterman. I'm not going to ask you about Kylie, but I am going to ask you about diving. Because you, sir, are an Olympic silver medalist from Athens. You're now also 30 years old. I mean, that's Zimmer frame territory yeah. <laughs> for divers. And not only that, but you've got a synchro partner. Um, he's, apparently he's going to be quite good. He's, he's a chap called Tom Daly. That's right, yeah, yeah. No, lucky, lucky enough to compete in three Olympic Games and, um, and yeah, get, get a silver medal at the Athens Olympics. And, uh, with Leon Taylor, but he's retired now, so we're waiting for, for another part. How old is Leon Taylor? Leon's probably about 33 now. Oh, maybe. really? Oh, I he's see. So you, you were the junior. So, yeah, yeah, I'm still young. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so he's he retired, so I've been waiting for, for another um, partner to come along. And, you know, at, at, the time, at that time, Tom was still really young and, and wasn't strong enough, but now he's... He's, he's a bit older and he's he's even taller than me now, which isn't that hard. But uh, but yeah, he's strong enough, and, and you know we work well together. He is only 16. He is only. 16. I mean, he's not exactly an old man, but has he physically developed now? Yeah, he has. You know, like, like I say, he's he's getting a lot stronger now. He's been he's been doing a lot of good work um, in in the gym on his strength and conditioning and stuff like that. So so yeah, he's he's now developing um, and he's getting a lot taller as well. Now we are going to talk about you, honest, but just whilst we're on the subject of uh, your junior partner, yeah. um, he's 16, you're 30. I'm not saying you can't get better because maybe you can. Yeah. But I mean, you know, you, you, you know a good diver when you see one, don't you? Yeah. How good is this kid? Yeah, he's good. Yeah, he's really good, really talented, and he's 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 been getting some great results, you know. So so the future's bright for him, definitely. I mean, you say about me now I'm 30 that I might not be able to be getting better, but I got a, an international PB in, in the last leg of the World Series in Beijing, so so I'm still improving as well. Yeah, so. and of but, course, so uh, you've beaten Tom, haven't you? The last two uh, individual 10 meter platform events, haven't you? Yeah, the last two this year, um, and then then one last year as well. Will so. you see a two from two or three from three? Three from three at the moment, yeah. Three so. from three. You're the bogeyman. <laughs> Now, never mind everybody else's expectations, okay? If I was a Martian who's just landed on this planet and I said to you, Pete, realistically, what can you aim for in London, both individually and also collectively as a synchro pair? Um, individually, I'll start with. Um, let's put it this way. I'm going to... This World Series is the top eight the world from last year and I got one medal um, at the last one. So, individually there is a chance of, of, of getting a medal. Our best chance of getting a medal is the synchro because all of the all of the pairs in the synchro will all do individual as well. So then you've got double the amount of people that you're competing against. So so yeah, the synchro will definitely be our best chance. Now tell me about you, silver medal in Athens, fantastic achievement. You became uh, pretty famous after that. Remind us, was that a fantastic silver medal one or was that sort of, do you look back now and think we could have won the gold or are you really happy with the silver? Yeah, of course, no, of course, always think we could have won the gold because we could have died better. Um, and we know we, we could have died better. Um, but on the other hand, it's an Olympic silver medal. You don't, there's only one better than that, which is the gold medal. So, so yeah, going into London, um, I'd love to get a gold medal. Um, yeah, but, you would. but, like I say, any colour medal, because this is an Olympic medal, any colour medal, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be happy with. So what happened after after Athens? Obviously you didn't go away, you kept on diving, but it seems to me, I mean, it's eight years ago, you know, it's seven years ago now, but you seem to be, as you're saying, you're getting PBs, you're beating the, the, the boy of the moment, Mr. Daly, he seemed to be on the best, best form ever, so sort of what happened in those seven years and, and why are you back to the best now? Um, basically, got to Beijing Olympics and the year prior to, to Beijing Olympics I had a shoulder injury. Um, and so got, I had like three quarter zone injections in it before the, before the games and then three days before my event uh, my shoulder went again. So they put another one in which you're not supposed to do. Um, but just to try and get me through the competition it didn't work. So um, I done the prelims and got fourth and died really well. But I woke up in the morning and I couldn't even lift my arm past my ear. So That's not going to help is it? Not in diving, no. We need to no. keep me getting our arms um, past that region. Not unless there's so. a bombing competition. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, so anyway, had a, had a bad Olympics there, um, and then so went home straight away. Had surgery, um, and because of the surgery, had nearly a year out of competition.
competition. Um, and in that year was, um, you know, when, when that was when Tom really became um, who he is today. Um, and also, a lot of people wrote me off because of it, you know, a lot of people didn't think I was coming back. Um, and, you know, I had a How about you? Did you ever think you weren't coming back? No, I never, never, never crossed my mind at all. And, you know, it, <laughs> I wanted to prove to myself and to everybody else that I wasn't done yet. Um, and so I've been working harder than I ever have. Um, you know, to, to, to show them. Okay, Pete, final, final area to look into. Yeah. London, 2012. A big crowd, and 98% will be cheering for you and Tom. Uh, that's got to be a good thing, hasn't it? Oh, I can't wait. It's going to be brilliant. Um, you know, I think it's like something like 20,000 uh, people in, in, the, in the aquatic centre, and that's going to be... Uh, I, don't even, I couldn't even imagine it at the moment, so I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I was lucky to compete in the Commonwealth Games with the home crowd, and um, that was where I won a gold medal, so... You know, to, I don't think I would have won that gold medal without that crowd behind me. Um, so I'm really looking forward to having that crowd behind us and all, all the and just me and Tom, it, it's going to be amazing. But it's good that you've experienced the home support because you know how good it is and also, you know, you know, because it could be pressure as well if you turned it that way, but you yeah. know how to deal with that, don't you? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, we, we all have our bad days, but having that crowd behind you, you don't get much better than that if you're not you know when you're in other countries or there's a little bit of a small crowd and the atmosphere is not there it's, it's, it is harder to dive well um, so with that atmosphere and that support um, it, it should give us a good good, good, good adrenaline rush and, and, and get us performing how we need to ok well dream scenario Waterfield and Daly gold medal synchro Waterfield and Daly gold and silver individual yeah, definitely. Waterfield with the gold. Yeah, <laughs> no, I look forward to it. I can't wait. It's going to be amazing.